So why did I bring you such a crazy accusation? Because as evil as Frieza is, can he really be told that he was doing nothing? See, I believe evil is derived from good. So I'm suited up to deliver to you the greatest defense case you ever see. Not for these guys. Kid Buu, Cell, and Zamasu might be impossible for me. This natural prodigy was raised with praise and soon had his own fleet. Nay, his own force. The Frieza Force. Never having trained a day in his life, instead creating forms to suppress his immense power. Power. And told by his father, King Cold, there are two beings in this world that you should never contest against. Kid Buu and Lord Beerus. Frieza understanding that these mythological creatures, similar to how we're told, like, if you do bad, the boogeyman will get you. Except for in Frieza's case, these boogeyman are actually real. And one has been defeated. The other one, <laughs> So Frieza declared himself Lord. Lord Frieza. Was that name an accident? Beerus gave him permission to destroy the Saiyans. He eliminated entire race and many, many other races. That part cannot be denied. His hands are definitely soaked in blood. But are those his hands? Or is that the hands of the ones who groomed him? Frieza is a cunning, maniacal genius. Already being on Namek in search of the Dragon Balls before Vegeta even had the thought of going to Namek. And in Dragon Ball Super, he was there negotiating with Goku to be brought back to life. He was in disadvantage Bandage, yet he pried on Goku's one weakness, his thrill of fighting. And before the term ever even began, he informed us that what he was in his little cocoon in hell, he didn't just idly let time go by without thinking. His mind was still percolating, and he discovered how to do image training. And he used image training to help perfect his golden form, his one weakness that kept him away from victory when he first resurrected. And in that tournament of power, we saw he Freeze, being as most sadistic and also getting dogged on quite hilarious after he left the tournament of power he left the tournament of power not thinking like oh wow i helped the universe nah he was still in a maniacal little mindset his one goal was to defeat these saiyans he saw what goku was capable of in tournament of power held in super broly too he saw that gogeta blue was a being that he didn't even know existed and yet he knew by the end of the movie that it was a being he could not contend against relinquishing his control and just leaving the planet overall. Looking at the Saiyans who combined to one warrior, saying that one day I'm gonna get my revenge and we will even the score. Cause boy, that incident will just fuel something that he's gonna do later in the future. For many, many, many chapters later, Frieza comes back after being detached from time and space in his own training for 10 years. Something that Goku in the Cell Saga warned us against. But unless you're Frieza and you have a case of revenge. <laughs> See, training for 10 years light work for a being like that. He came down there, took care of a foe, flexed his power, and let them live. Almost like how Goku and Vegeta spared Frieza in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Even though Frieza came with a full intention of Broly annihilating the two Saiyans. The reverse happened. Frieza then returned back to his force. Which, to be honest, I didn't believe it, but totally not Mark even said that the Frieza force ain't too bad to actually be working under. Did you know that Frieza never actually killed his soldiers? Yeah, this is one of those facts that kind of blows my mind as someone who watches the Dragon Ball anime first, but well, yeah, Frieza in fact was not as murderous of a boss in the actual manga as he was in the anime adaptation. And I mean that, go back through and read the Frieza arc and you will find exactly zero instances of Frieza murking one of his subordinates out of rage or whatever. Okay, so I made a video a little while ago explaining that Frieza doesn't actually kill his employees and you know what's more is, it's actually not a bad place to work, it's got some great benefits. We're going to be dipping into video game lore trademark here, but there's a lot of reasons to believe that the Frieza Force is a better place to work than you'd think. Like, did you know that according to the Xenoverse games, they get maternity leave? That's better than America, and that's nothing compared to the healthcare, medical equipment, free apparel, and profit-sharing bonuses they got. Now, to be fair, that last one comes from Fighters, and the English translation for that game is insanely bad. A story for another day, perhaps, but still. In the battle of nature versus nurture, Frieza since birth never had his own ambitions, having all the decisions to two major things to him, survival and expanding. But now in Super, we see that Frieza has his brand new ambition. When he had the chance to have all seven Dragon Balls in his possession, when he was asked, what do you want to wish for? And the idea of immortality did not spring up from him. For the old Frieza we knew that only had the ambitions of two dreams is gone. Because this is a creature of change. Frieza is heartless, a mass murderer. Yet Frieza is also the creation of his circumstance. And I say, if the universe can create this tyrant, then did Frieza really do anything wrong? Beerus could have eliminated him. Self-important. 
If we cross paths again, I'll gladly wipe the entitled bugger out. Saving all of those countless lives, King Cold could have directed his son just to only control what King Cold already had. His men, that only fueled his arrogance, were too afraid to ever tell Frieza that he was going too far. It took a Saiyan fulfilling a prophecy to tell Frieza that he went too far. And it was the same Saiyan that saved Frieza in a way. Because Frieza is not a creature that cannot be saved. Frieza is a creature, a person you could say, that I believe did not Nothing wrong. But you know one thing that was done wrong was Beerus. And you can click on this video right over here to find out why I believe that Beerus is gonna be the death of Dragon Ball Super. And until next time, thank you very much for watching you guys. Stay safe and peace.